Being a queer student in high school has shown me the best and the worst of people. I'm Indian. I wasn't born in India, but my parents were, and so we have all the food and all the culture. Uh, I'm a Muslim Arab American. I'm half Samoan, a quarter Italian, and quarter Salvadorian. I'm mixed race, so my dad is white Caucasian American, and my mom is from Taiwan. My culture is uh, being a young African American a male in the United States. I'm Persian, um, so both my parents were born and raised in Iran and then they moved here. I'm half Japanese and half Chinese. As a freshman, I was bullied quite a bit for being queer and now, especially with the Supreme Court ruling and everyone just becoming more educated, I don't experience that almost at all anymore and it's really great to see how far we've come and especially how far Carlmont has come as a school. Um, the Carlmont community has been really accepting of me um, and I think at Carlmont we have a lot of different cultures around campus. And so I really just find my place here at Calmont. Um, I can really connect with anyone on campus. Uh, it doesn't really matter what their culture is. Um, but at Calmont, we always, everyone has just the like, connection inherently. You know, recent news of, you know, different communities across the United States being affected by, you know, pro police brutality and different events that have affected the way you know society sees black people as a whole. Not a lot of people exactly can see what kind of cult like race I am. So I get a lot of different like questions like, oh, are you like Filipino or so, like some sort of Latina, but they never ask like if I'm Pacific Islander or like Samoan. It's kind of like more, you must be Filipino right off the bat. And I was like, no. Some issues include um, a lack of representation for mixed race people. So because we don't really look like one certain category and fit into a certain category that people expect, um, it's hard for us to be represented in films and movies. Our culture faces a lot of stereotypes, but a lot of it actually comes from inside. Like there's a lot of pressure from Indian families that they put under their children to be engineers or computer scientists, you know, you never hear about great Indian authors or poets as much as you do about scientists and engineers, you know. We can be whoever we want to be and not feel confined. A lot of the things that our culture faces, like, they're all a lot in the news right now, like with the Iran nuclear deals and stuff. Since we have, like, a, a government that not a lot of the population supports, but there's nothing that, like, the Iranian people can do about it. Um, I'm not speaking for everybody, but, like, a lot of the United States views Iran as like something that is not. Mostly they view it as what the government does rather than the people. Definitely there are stereotypes about my people and my community and those have brought hardships but fortunately people can become understanding and we are able to uh, teach people about who we really are as Muslim Americans. We got the right to marry the person we want in all 50 states, so that's amazing. Um, that's one of the huge victories for us. Our biggest, I'd say, festival or holiday is Diwali, which is the Festival of Lights. In a sense, it's kind of like a new year for us. A lot of singing, a lot of dancing, a lot of food. It's usually depending on what religion you identify with. It can be up to a week-long festival. We have a lot of uh, Persian traditional holidays and stuff. One that's coming up really soon is Aid. And that's kind of, that's the Persian New Year. So like we have like a big meal and then we have like a half scene, which is um, a bunch of different pieces representing different parts of the New Year and what you should like, what they embody and stuff. And like the whole family gets together and we have big meals. As a teacher, my perception of the diversity at Carmon is that it's pretty great. I mean, racially, there's a lot of diversity here, but I think there's also a lot of diversity in ability level and interests and uh, you know, things like that. So I think that we're a fairly diverse school.